If you're a gamer like me, you want to make sure you have the most optimal connection possible when you're gaming online. In this video, we'll look at whether using an ethernet cable over a wireless alternative like Wi-Fi really will lower your ping response times. Hey everyone, it's Chris back again from homenetworkgeek.com where we talk about everything home networking. If you enjoy this video and find it helpful, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's jump straight in and find out if using ethernet really will help lower your ping. Now it is widely accepted that using an ethernet cable over a wireless alternative like Wi-Fi will improve your overall network connectivity and provide a better experience when you're gaming online. Now Wi-Fi is simply unreliable. Even if you don't have the fastest connection speeds possible, you at least want them to remain consistent. This is all possible when you're using an ethernet cable to connect your gaming PC or your console directly to your router or a network switch if you're using one. Wireless signals are well known to fluctuate from time to time. This can affect the integrity of the signal and have a knock-on effect on the download and upload speeds you're able to achieve. This is especially true when the walls in your home are thick or made from solid materials, or you have other devices or appliances nearby that can cause interference. One appliance we all have in our homes, a basic microwave, is notorious for affecting wireless signals which is why where you choose to place your wireless router is absolutely paramount. Now there is one benefit to using wireless over ethernet, which is that your setup will generally have a cleaner appearance as there isn't any need for any cables. But many people will accept having an ethernet cable potentially on show if it means they get a better network connection and ultimately a lower ping. That's not to say the cables have to be left unsightly. With a bit of cable management in place, you can easily route the cables in such a way that they aren't even visible. Routing the ethernet cable through the walls or perhaps underneath your desk will give you the benefit of using ethernet while still keeping your gaming setup clean and tidy. Now some people will argue that the difference in ping response times when using ethernet compared to the likes of Wi-Fi is so small that it's really not worth the effort. Especially if you don't already have an ethernet cable to hand or your PC or console is positioned particularly far away from your router or switch. I definitely think it's worth the time and effort to be using ethernet over wireless wherever you can, even on the devices that access the internet but you don't necessarily do any gaming on. Using ethernet provides other benefits in addition to just lowering your ping, which make for a more optimal network connection and a better overall experience, regardless of what you're using the device for. From a technical point of view, ping uses the echo request and echo reply messages within the internet control message protocol. When the ping command is used, an echo request packet is sent to the device that you're trying to contact. When the echo request gets received at its destination, you should receive a response with an echo reply packet. The ping command is an invaluable tool when it comes to troubleshooting network related issues, testing connectivity, and even determining response times. In a nutshell, the ping command allows you to test whether you can contact another device that's either connected to your local area network or even out on the internet. In terms of gaming, ping is measured in milliseconds and it represents the time it takes for a packet of information to reach the server that you're gaming on and for the response to be received. It is essentially a measurement of the connection speed to the server and largely influences how much lag or latency you experience in game. If you've ever gamed online, I'm sure you would have experienced lag at one point or another. You'll appreciate how frustrating this can be, especially when it has a detrimental effect on your gaming performance and overall experience. So will using an ethernet cable be the magic bullet and solve all of your lag and latency issues? Choosing to use ethernet will have a largely positive effect on reducing lag, but there are some factors that are simply out of your control that can cause lag to still occur. It's just that the likelihood of lag occurring is reduced when you use ethernet. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have a fast internet connection and a position relatively close to the server that you're playing on, you'll likely see a more notable difference from using ethernet over Wi-Fi. But even if you fall into the camp of having a slower internet connection or you're gaming on servers that are positioned on the other side of the world, using ethernet does provide other benefits. So it's definitely worth using over wireless wherever you can. So now that you know that using ethernet offers a lower ping, you may be wondering if the length of the ethernet cable is a factor, especially if your PC or console is positioned relatively far away from your router or switch. Now, the longer the ethernet cable is, 
the higher the ping will be. But the difference is so small, you'll likely notice no difference whatsoever. Ping response times increase by around one nanosecond per foot of ethernet cable. Given that a single length of ethernet cable is limited to 328 feet, I really don't think you'll notice any difference. You really don't need to worry about using a longer ethernet cable in fear that it will increase your ping response times, as I don't think you'll notice any difference between a cable that's six feet long and 100 feet long. Even a longer ethernet cable that reaches its limit before you start running into issues, which is 100 meters or 328 feet, I still think you'll receive lower ping response times than if you were using Wi-Fi. Again, this is down to the factors that are largely out of our control, which can cause higher ping response times when using Wi-Fi or a wireless alternative. So to wrap up the video, using ethernet does provide faster ping response times as you don't have to worry about the interference or stability issues that come with using Wi-Fi. I believe that any of you that do any gaming online would benefit massively from using Ethernet. So I'd highly suggest you give it a go and see how much it can improve your overall experience by. Now, if you don't already have some Ethernet cables to hand, I'll leave a link to my article in the description box below where I cover some of the best Ethernet cables for gaming. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell to turn on notifications. Don't forget to also visit homenetworkgeek.com where I have a ton of articles that cover everything home networking. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.